Welcome back. It's the second half hour of Las Vegas Morning Blind. I'm Sean Tempasta. We're going to be getting J.K. Snyder a little bit of a rest. He's been carrying the show for most of the show today. That's good. Uh, fall is finally here, and while many of you are thinking of all your pumpkin spice lattes and such, our next guest is thinking of what's lying inside your walls and in those pipes of yours. Eternal Plumbing Solutions. They want to make sure there's no surprises when the family comes over for turkey and gifts this year. And with here on ways that we can keep our plumbing in tip-top shape is the owner of Eternal Plumbing Solutions, Kyle Lassard. Hey, it's great having you. Lassard. Yeah. Lassard. Lassard. Oh, yes. my goodness. <laughs> we, we were talking about his last name. I was the first person to ever get it you right. You just had it right. You got and it right, I confused yeah. myself. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Great having you. Thank you. Yeah, it was great being here. The temperatures are finally cooling down, and I think everyone they think plumbing wise are like, oh, I know what to do. You got to put that little pillow over the thing outside <laughs> your house, and you're done with all your plumbing. Not always the case. What are the common mistakes you're seeing this time of season? Um, so, a lot of the common mistakes, especially during the holiday season, are going to be throwing too much food down the garbage disposal. Oh, Honestly, the, that's the oh, biggest the mistake. Turkey grease and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that just turns into gunk in your drains. And then you're calling us out after doing your dishes and your whole family sees your sinks backing up. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people, they think they can get away with this a little bit of bacon grease. Yeah, a little bit here and there. That can add up after time. Absolutely. And then and it can cause pretty big issues. Uh, so well, what, what do you recommend then for, for homeowners to be able to maintain their plumbing and kind of keep it going for a long time? Um, as far as it goes with uh, food and stuff, potato yeah. peels, carrot peels, put them in the trash can. Even if you have the little trash disposal situation where it can... Grind it up, don't do it. The garbage disposal just mushes it up, puts it down the drain, you're blocking yourself up. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. What else? And the grease, put it into a little can, let it solidify, also throw it away. You chuck that out as well, yeah. gotcha. Leaks can be a real pain. I was talking to you just before we went live. Yeah. I had this one a bathroom that we practically never used, and we didn't realize there was a slow drip on the bottom to the point where we opened it, and like my, my, the floor and my, my, my room next door is a little bit off. Like, it can be a real pain. Leaks can be a disaster for a homeowner. How can they be easily detected? Can they be easily detected? Yeah, so a couple pain points, especially for, you know, just a normal leaks is going to be your kitchen or your faucets, you know, just a single yeah. drip. Yeah. That's about a cup an hour. Yeah. So a couple gallons a day. But at least you see the faucet. Yeah. You can hear the drip. <laughs> but when it's underneath or, heaven forbid, inside the walls, that can be a real pain. Is there a way for you guys to see within the walls? Yeah, so in the walls, if, if you notice your water bill going up, especially underground, we have a lot of underground plumbing here, yeah. and in the wall, in the wall you'll notice right away. Mm -hmm. You'll start getting mold or whatever coming through the walls. But yeah. underground is the big ones. If you see your water bill jump up $20, $15, $40, Call a plumber, yeah. see what's going on. It could just be simple toilets or faucets, but underground it can be major issues. Some people, they don't want, it's like almost like calling a lawyer. They don't want to do it until it gets real bad. Yeah. But if they wait till it gets real bad, the cost of having to repair all of they, what could they have gone. They multiply. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. So calling uh, just to have a safety check to make sure everything's on the up and up. Exactly. It could just a be a toilet thing. flapper and that's good to go. You brought in a bunch of stuff here today. I did. Um, one of these things looks like it's had a real tough day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one. I, I, there's a couple tips and uh, suggestions okay. I brought with me sure. for a regular homeowner to check. Uh, this is part of a faucet. There we go. Yeah. Contractor grade. Yeah, yep, contractor grade. Exactly. Took it off a faucet last night. There we go. Came. Okay. <laughs> Feel bad this is a big guy. thing to check is your aerator on your faucet. What is this? It's real simple. This is what actually, uh, if you didn't have the aerator, basically just a glob of water would come out and splatter everywhere. This reduces the pressure of the water. I see. But still, as you have like a, a good stream, yeah. good stream and wash your hands. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people think their faucets have broke because they don't have any pressure anymore. Yeah. But a lot of times it's just, it's just a self filter. Gotcha. So every six months, I suggest taking it out, seeing if it's dirty, clean it out if it is. What should we clean out with? Anything in particular? You, you could have an old CLR toothbrush maybe? or CLR. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Or Easy even just that. your finger, just pick it out of there. Uh, what is uh, what is this? This looks like really beautiful <laughs> nunchucks. Yeah. So this is called an anode rod. Okay. It's inside your water heater. This is actually the same exact thing. This is what happens after about a year and a half of it being inside your water no. heater. No. Yes. Oh boy. Yes. That's so fun. So <laughs> what this does, it protects your water heater from uh, uh, corroding on the inside. Yeah. Um, this is a softer uh, aluminum magnesium alloy that that the hard water attacks. Okay. Especially here in Las Vegas with our aggressive water. So essentially you're saying rather than eat away at all this, eat away at this. Correct. And then every year and a half you should put in a new one. Yep. So every, 
every time you do your water heater flush, okay. you should have this inspected. You know, there's some homeowner, homeowners out there like, water heater flush? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> so what's a water heater flush? Uh, water heater flush is, you know, just draining down your water heater. Uh, if a pro comes out, what we normally do is we camera inspect the inside of the water heater, remove the anode rod, mm -hmm. And get rid of all the sediment so that gotcha. your water heater is performing efficiently. And I've uh, seen one of these before. It's on my washing machine. Yes. And this is one of the biggest causes of flood damage. No kidding. Oh, yes. great. <laughs> yes. Which is why I brought this one. And this is a braided hose. It's no burst. This one, if it starts leaking, just a couple drips, you'll notice it. You call the plumber out. There's uh, the older style, which is a black hose. Yeah. Those cause more damage to your house than oh, anything. Boy. So they'll break right here at the seam. Oh, of course they will. And, and then if you're not home, it's a it just, you come home to a pool. A tragedy. Yeah. Uh, with 10 seconds left really quickly, where's the shutoff valve? Heaven forbid we need to know where it is. Uh, shutoff valve, if you don't know what it looks like, you can go to our website. I have a video that trains you on how to find it. If not, we come out for no charge and we'll come out and tag it for you so Perfect. you know how to operate it. There we go. Good man. It's great to have you, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yep. Don't, don't want that to break. Very <laughs> painful. Uh, Eternal Plumbing Solutions, they can get your plumbing in order. They're located on Polaris and by Desert Inn in Valley View, right near us, actually, here at the station. Uh, their phone number and website are right there on your screen. Eternal Plumbing Solutions, they're a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend, and the last thing they want is for your house to flood. So.